On the topic of definite integral, to calculate the integral of dx, this is 1 dx that can be written as x plus c. Well, you can always check your work. To check your work, you need to take the derivative of x plus c, which is 1 plus 0 or 1. And as you can see, 1 and the function inside your integral are the same. The next integral is the integral of k dx, where k is just a number. It can be written as k, the integral of dx, and as we saw before, this is k, the integral of 1 dx, or k x plus constant of integration. Again, you can check this work by taking the derivative of k x plus c. This becomes the derivative of kx plus the derivative of c, which is k plus 0 or k. So as you can see, k is the same in the integral. Then the integral of kx dx can be written as k, the integral of x dx, which is going to be x, to the power 2 divided by 2 and then you multiply it by k plus constant of integration. This is the antiderivative that we're introducing here. You can check the work when you have k x squared divided by 2 plus c and you take the derivative. This is k x squared divided by 2 derivative plus the derivative of c. In terms, it can be written as k divided by 2 times 2x plus 0, 2 and 2, they get cancelled out, so it is kx. So since kx and kx are the same thing, it means that our integral is correct. And in general, if you have the power function kx to the n, the integral of k x to the n dx is k, the integral of x to the n dx, which in terms can be written as k times x to power n plus 1, divided by n plus 1 plus constant of integration. For the topic of definite integral, we are using the fundamental theorem of calculus. The fundamental theorem of calculus says the definite integral from a to b of function f of x dx can be written as f of b minus f of a with the condition that you saw before. Remember that f prime is equal to f as you checked in previous examples. So basically, to find the definite integral of any integral that you saw up here, you just need to plug in b, then plug in a, and do the subtraction. One example can be the integral of x minus 2 times x plus 3 dx while x ranging between 1 to 3. In order to calculate this integral, we have to do a little bit of algebra first. Since you have two binomials, you're going to do the multiplication. 
x minus 2 times x plus 3 can be written as x squared plus 3x minus 2x minus 6 or x squared plus x minus 6. You're going to substitute this inside your integral. Otherwise, you can't find the integral that easy. So this integral becomes the integral from 1 to 3 of quadratic expression x squared plus x minus 6 dx. To calculate this integral, this can be written as x cubed divided by 3 plus x squared over 2 minus 6x, and then you substitute 3, then substitute 1, and do the subtraction. This can be written in terms as 3 cubed divided by 3 plus 3 squared over 2 minus 6 times 3 minus, we are applying the fundamental theorem of calculus. We just did this part, f of b. Now we're going to calculate f of a. So let us put it in a bracket, one third plus a half minus six, then just simplify as much as you can. This becomes nine plus nine over two minus 18 minus, so here if you take common denominator between these two, we get six and five over six minus six. For now, I'm not taking common denominator. Maybe I can combine these later. So, so far, these two is negative 9 plus 9 over 2 minus 5 over 6 plus 6. So, if you just combine these two numbers, you have 9 over 2 minus 5 over 6 minus 3. And then if you take common denominator between these two, which is 6, you get 18 minus 5 minus 3 or 13 over 6 minus 3. Another common denominator, you get 13 minus 18 or negative 5 over 6.